By now, we know that RFK Jr., who suspended his presidential campaign and endorsed Donald Trump, was just running a campaign out of pure self-interest. And I heard rumblings about his care and concern for the environment and all that, but surely the folks who were making that argument can lay it to rest now, right? I mean, now that he's endorsed Donald Trump for president, a man who believes climate change is a hoax, there were numerous issues with RFK Jr. Frankly, the brain worm and the dead bear cub selfie being near the bottom of the list, which is really saying something. <laughs> but now we're here. RFK has endorsed him. And while endorsing Donald Trump, Kennedy went out of his way to say that his team had polling that showed Kennedy could damage Trump in key battleground states if he stayed on the ballot. In fact, let's hear briefly what he had to say about that specific issue. I would likely hand the election over to the Democrats with whom I disagree on the most existential issues, censorship, war, and chronic disease. I love that he says he disagrees with the Democrats on most existential issues while he was, you know, just before suspending his campaign, angling for a position in the Harris administration. Truly, I hope we can now see this man for who he is. He really had a lot of people going. But now we're learning that although Kennedy is trying to get his name removed from the ballot in 10 states to help Trump, his plan is not going very smoothly. So far, according to Business Insider, at least three states are causing him problems. Quote, Michigan, a key battleground state, said it was too late for Kennedy to withdraw as the nominee of the natural law party in the state. Kennedy got on the ballot by convincing the small party to nominate him, earning only two votes. Wisconsin, another crucial swing state, also denied Kennedy's request to be removed from the ballot. Colorado, notably less competitive for Trump than Michigan or Wisconsin, also denied Kennedy's removal from the ballot. However, Kennedy succeeded in getting himself booted from the ballot in some important swing states, including Arizona, Nevada, and Pennsylvania. He's also been removed from Florida, Ohio, and Texas ballots. You know how upset Republicans, especially Donald Trump, have been over the Democratic ticket shakeup? Donald Trump has been talking about how it's unfair. Does he also think this is unfair? Kennedy's efforts to remove himself from the ballots where it could hurt Trump, is that unfair? I think we all know the answer to that. 